Good day everyone, I will share a little bit of my family background to help you understand what I'm about to teach you today. I grew up in a family of eight children where I happened to be the last born. My older brothers and sisters played a big role in my life while growing up. Watching them, I learned to walk faster, rode a bicycle, and tie my shoelaces. My elder brother was my mathematics guide for every mathematics problem I encountered. I always run to him and it's solved. J. Lauren Norris said, if you cannot see where you are going, ask someone who has been there before. There was a lot I learned from them and I avoided certain mistakes as well. This same thing also applies in business. Being the last born in business does not mean to come last in business or not being the first to take a risk. It entails being humble enough to learn from your senior colleagues in that same line of business. It means seeking mentorship and advice from others to make right decisions. John Maxwell said, one of the greatest values of mentors is the ability to see ahead of what others cannot see and to help them navigate a course to their destination. An example of this is what the Igbos practice in their business. Before they venture into starting a trade, they humble themselves to learn that trade or business for one to four years. This way they master the craft and excel in their ventures. Jesus was a great mentor. His disciples humbled themselves and learned from him. We see the results in the biblical Acts of Apostles. I'll give you a list of some benefits of having a mentor in business or any field of endeavor. They are 1. They help you grow and excel faster. 2. With their guidance, you avoid certain mistakes. 3. With them, you have a better understanding about the business. 4. Because of their experience they can help you manage expenses. 5. With their guidance you can take calculated risks. 6. Working with them you have better reasoning since two heads are better than one. Mentorship is not only applied in business, but in different careers. As a contractor, as a doctor, or as a fashion designer. Also in education, parenting, relationships, marriage, you know marriage counseling is a form of mentorship as well. As your career path changes, your mentorship changes as well. Behind every great leader, at the base of every great tale of success, you find an indispensable circle of advisors, mentors and colleagues. You want to be successful. Become the last born. Have advisors and mentors.